Oh, hi there, Trevor. What game we playing today? Black Fleet, Ooh, sir. Nice. Do you like Black Fleet? I do. I really like Black Fleet. And why? Well, it's a game about pirates and merchants and governor's daughters and cool doubloons. Ooh. That are actually like metal, so that's fun. Nice chinky chink. Chinky change. We've got some pretty cool ships out there. Well, sweet. Well, what is the point in Black Fleet? Well, as I said, the... There's governor's daughters, and that is the point, is to win the governor's daughter by buying her. <laughs> you get to buy the governor's daughter. Nice. There so, are two different versions to play, which I'll get into later, but essentially the 20, that's the bombs up in the corner, how much they cost in doubloons. If you want a longer game, you can have the governor's daughter cost 20 just instead of 10. Nice. Okay. Well, why don't you show us how to play Black Fleet? Um, it would be my pleasure. So you start the game by obviously setting up the game board, put the cubes in the respective ports based on their color. You take these cards, which are the cards that tell you which ship you're going to control, shuffle them around, and whoever pulls out the black ship is going to be the first player because that's the name of the game. And it says so. Nice. Black Fleet. After choosing that, each player will get their corresponding color ships, their merchant ship, and their pirate ship. Pirate ship's the little one. Nice. I love these ships. They're so cool. They are pretty cool. Then each player will get two navigation cards, which are basically their movement cards, and one uh, weather forecast card type thing, and it basically gives you special powers. I love special powers too. Yeah, special powers are always fun in games. Okay. So, starting with the first player, the black ship, you'll pick a port you want to start in with your merchant ship. Your pirate ship doesn't start on the board. So say black, I'm black, and I want to start at the blue port. In each port, there's three docking areas. So say I want to start in this one. You load up your ship with three goods. And you have these nifty little cargo bay to put your goods. So handy. Yep. So everybody starts in a port. Yeah, white might start over here at red. The brown one might start at green. Who knows? And then um, play begins. Okay. What do you do on your turn? On your turn, you will have, like I said, two navigation cards, which are your movement Check cards that you can choose from. This is how you see them. On this card, there is a yellow navy ship, and on this card, there's a purple navy ship. The middle one is your pirate ship, why it's got the skull and crossbones, and the bottom one is your navy ship. Your merchant ship. Your merchant ship, of course. <laughs> um, so the number right there is corresponds to how many movement uh, allocations you can give to that ship. So for instance, uh, if I play this card, I could move the yellow navy ship, this one, one space. If I chose to. You don't have to use all the movement and you don't even have to use any of the movement if you want. You just can't go over, obviously. And you don't have to do them in order. Correct. You can move the merchant ship first if you want, then the pirate ship, then the navy. It doesn't really matter. The pirate ship, as I said, does not start on the board. Um, so on your turn, when you play your card, you're going to take your pirate ship and put him in one of three areas, either over here, over here, or over here. Those are the, called the open sea spaces. Um, that's just where all pirate ships will enter the board from. And then from Sweet. that space, you can move your allocated number of movement points on your card. So I could move him one, two, three. He's set and sail. Nice. Yep, he's okay. coming in. And then, once you've done all your movement, some cards will have at the bottom of the cards plus a uh, fortune card or plus two fortune cards. Um, that means you get to draw that many fortune cards, however many it says. On some of the cards, it says discard a fortune card, which is just basically a X through one of the cards, which okay. means in your hand, if you have any fortune cards, you have to discard one. You can never have more than three fortune cards in your hand at the same time. Okay. So and you can play as many fortune cards on your turn as you want. Um, what do some of them do? Some of them, for instance, this one is called Trade Wind. Move your merchant ship up to two extra spaces. Nice one. And you can use that whenever you want. Um, I mean, on your turn, of course. <laughs> of course. Duplicate order. In addition to the Navy ship shown on your movement card, you can move the second Navy ship using the uh, printed movement allowance. So essentially, both. you could use move both of the Navy ships one okay. 
or however many it uh, says. Well, you told me the merchant ship is trying to get to port. What happens when they get to port? Yeah, so this is fun. As you can see, there are numbers on all the ports with different um, colors and goods. Yep. Your navy ship, or your merchant ship, I'm sorry, I keep messing that up. Uh, your merchant ship will sail across the board, doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop, and sell at other ports. For instance, he has three blue cubes, and blue sells for three over here. So he would get three doubloons for each cargo he still has in his hold by the time he gets to port. So if, if he made it all the way there with three blue cubes, he would get nine doubloons. And then he reloads. Correct. If he had red cubes, he would get uh, six doubloons, because three red cubes times yep. two, six. And then he just immediately reloads and continue his movement if he hasn't spent all of his movement points yet. Um, if he has, then he'll just sit there until his next turn. Nice. And that's how you do that. So when you go into port, you automatically sell and reload. And you said if he's still got three cubes. Correct. That's a big if. And going back to the pirate ships one more time, if a pirate ship comes tooting along on the board saying, Yarg, you stole my treasures, then he, if you're adjacent to a enemy merchant ship, you can attack it and take one of their cubes and put it in your vessel. And you get two doubloons for attacking. That is correct. So if your pirate ship attacks another merchant ship, you get two doubloons. Your pirate ship is not allowed to attack your own merchant ship, however. You can't just attack yourself to get money. Correct. <laughs> and then what the pirate can do with this uh, cube here, his treasure, he can bury it at one of these locations that have the numbers printed all over the map. He can go over to one of them, discard the cube, and get that many doubloons. Right. He However... Just, oh, yes, go ahead. Yes, he can't attack and bury in the same turn. Okay. He can either bury or attack. Sweet. Wow. Uh, well, that's a good way to use a pirate. Yes, it sure get is. Some money that way. Now, the Navy ships are also fun because Navy ships come tooting along and say, Yarg, you pirates, get off my waters, and they shoot them down, and they come off the board. And you get two doubloons for sinking a pirate ship as well. So... The, new, the uh, neutral Navy ships you can use to sink other people's pirate ships. Correct. Sweet. And they come off the board. They come off the board, and then on their next turn, their owner will place them in one of the open sea spaces and bring them back and on again. Come again. And a merchant ship, if it's down to a cube and gets attacked... If it's down to one more cube, it cannot uh, go back to port to reload. Once you set sail from a port, you are... You're, you're dead in the water, essentially, until you get to the next port. However, if a pirate attacks you and you only have one cube left and it attacks you, your merchant is sunk. And on your next turn, you'll start him at any port and sail from there. Sweet! So there's a lot of moving around. Gets real, with four players in there, it really gets a lot of commotion on the board for fun. Oh, yeah. Fun attacking back and forth. And there's one more thing. You'll notice these cards up front... This um, is the governor's daughter, obviously, but there are special ability cards. Everybody will get one of each of these at the start of the game, randomly shuffled, because on the back of all of them, they have a special power. And you get them by buying it, and this is how many doubloons it costs. So you cannot purchase the governor's daughter until you've bought all of your special power cards. Okay. Um, so that's what you're doing. You're earning doubloons, you're buying your four special power cards, mm -hmm. and then once you bought those, then you can go after the governor's daughter. Correct. But these are some pretty sweet cards. There are some very fun. And they're all different and randomly given your set of four at the start of the game. Yep. Ooh, quick launch. There's a cool one. Pirate comes in and immediately gets to move four spaces. That's cool. Delivering your goods is like you have an extra. All sorts of fun stuff. And you can choose what order you purchase those in. Correct. You don't have to go 5, 8, 11, 14. You could go 14 first, and then maybe 8. It just depends. You can look at them at the start of the game to see which ones you have, what powers they are, so you can strategize to see which one you might want to buy first. But they're dealt out randomly, so you can't choose before they're dealt out, they're dealt out which one you want. Cool. So each turn you've got, you could have some special cards in your hand. You've built up some special cards on the board as you move along, so on your turn you can get pretty involved in what you're doing and mixing and matching and swapping yep. ships. And and I also forgot to mention there can never be two ships in the same ocean region. Your own ships can move through each other, but you cannot move through enemy ships or navy ships. So, for instance, 
this Navy ship might be right here and you're trying to get through but you can't because the Navy ship's blocked so you have to go around. Or you play a card that lets you move a yellow ship, move him out of the way, then go past. Correct, and that's the fun stuff that fortune cards will do to you. So they'll let you swap things around and whew, all sorts of fun stuff. Whoa, cool, whoa, whoa. We've played this a lot since we got on, huh? Oh, yeah. And what would you rate Black Fleet then? I would give it a 4.5. Nice stellar rating. That's awesome. Yes. All right. Thanks, Trevor.